Hello, this is uh, Edward Lambert, and this is going to be a presentation about the spherical model of six elements. So it's going to be acupuncture, meridian theory, and six elements. And this video will include the spherical model of 12 meridians. So I'll show how it's all put together. You can see a picture of it right here on the slide of two cones coming together. That's where the, uh, the video is going to end, to showing how these two, two cones come together. But there's a lot to do in the meantime. OK, let's get started. So here in yellow, we see the five elements, from wood to fire to earth to metal to water and then back to wood. So that's five element theory. But then in six elements, an extra element is added, seed between water and wood. And you can see these white lines to show how seed is going to be added to five element theory to get the six element model. So this then becomes the basic six element model. And I'm going to be exploring this model in many videos to come. Okay, now here we see the correspondences to the meridians. First, we have the column of the elements, wood, fire, earth, metal, water, seed, wood, fire, earth, metal, water, seed. That's just the elements going around the six element model. And each element is going to be yin or yang, depending on whether it's a foot meridian or a hand meridian. Now the foot meridians are yin elements, come from the yin elements, and the hand meridians come from the yang elements. So you can see that coming down, that seed, for example, is a yang element, and it's, hand, it's a hand of meridian. And in this case, it's, we have the pericardium. And also the seed down here is also it's a yang element with a hand meridian. And here we have the san jiao. So I just want to point out here that the seed element, the meridians for the seed element, are pericardium and san jiao. And then the pericardium. And then these uh, meridians further get broken down into the type of foot meridian. Gallbladder is a foot yang meridian. And heart is a hand yin. So, for example, heart is the yin meridian of the hand meridians. So we're going to be using these correspondences in the following um, analysis. Now to start, we're going to have four orders. And there are four orders that transform into each other. The final order transforms back into the first order. So there's going to be four orders. You're going to watch them. You're going to see them. There's going to be four orders that transform into each other. And then the last one transforms back into the first. And the orders together form one complete cycle which contains hidden symmetries of meridian theory. And that's what I'm going to be showing here. So here's the transformation of four orders. First, I'll just take numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And here's the transformation pattern. Now this transformation pattern actually came from uh, symbolism in astrology, that when you combine this, the, the signs of the, uh, the zodiac with the order of a planet, you get this transformation. So this transformation is now being applied to meridians. So let's, let's see this. So you take these, for example, one, follow this line, becomes now the second in the order. Two here is the second in the order. You follow this line. Two now becomes the third in this order. So now let's continue these transformations. Here's another transformation. You see the number five moved down here into the second place. One moved down here into the third place. And you can see how all these numbers come down here. 11 follows right up here to 11. So you can see how these numbers are moving through the transformations. Here you get, so now you have four orders altogether. One, two, three, 
four. These are your four orders. Now this last order, when you do the transformation one more time, brings you back to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. You come back to the original order. Now this complete cycle of four orders transforming one into another holds within it meridian theory, meridian relationships. And this is what six element theory and the six element model of the spherical flow of meridians will show us. Okay, let's move on. Now, into this, into these four orders, I'm going to substitute six elements. Wood, fire, earth, metal, water, seed. That's the sequence of elements around the six element model. We just do it again. Wood, fire, earth, metal, water, seed. So we're just doing the order of the six elements through this order and then take them through the transformations and we will ultimately come back to this. Now what happens when we do this? Let's find out. All four of these orders of elements converge into one pattern. What is that pattern? Here it is. All of those four orders you just saw converge into this complete version of the six element theory. Wood, fire, earth, metal, water, seed. But you can see now these lines are going back and forth between seed and water, back and forth between metal and water. There's now a complete cycle going around in both directions with the same triangular movements through the center. That is surprising with all that movement through the four orders. Let me go back and show you the four orders again. Look at all this movement from water to fire to earth, even here, water, wood, fire, wood, earth, metal. Even these orders are found in the next, in the next slide right here, all right there. So this is the complete six element model coming from those four orders. So we already see that within those four orders, we have element theory. Now we substitute in the 12 meridians. It gets more complex now. But you can see that we have the same order from wood, fire, earth, metal, water, seed. But now these, why do I, why do I use gallbladder here for wood instead of liver? Well, this goes back to correspondences with the original um, sign, signs of the zodiac and planets. That gallbladder matches up to a certain symbol from astrology. So it turns out that this becomes now the order that the meridians are put into. And it follows the six element theory. Goes from yang to yin, yang to yin, yang to yin, yin, yang, yin, yang, yin, yang. So there is a, an acupuncture symmetry to it. And it all comes back to the end. So what happens when you take all of these movements through these orders, all of these movements, what happens when you converge them all? you're going to get a sphere. So this is how the meridians will be placed on a sphere in three dimensions using an icosahedron. So this geometry you see here is an icosahedron. And these meridians will sit on the vertices where the lines meet. For example, this will be the heart meridian. This will be the liver meridian. And on the back side of the sphere, this will be the kidney meridian. So you can see that this is the front side of the sphere. And then there's a back side of the sphere here. And the white dot is in the very center of the sphere. So you can see that this heart meridian will kind of start going around here. This will be the stomach meridian. This will go back to the lung meridian and then to the pericardium meridian. And then start coming around to the front of the sphere again through the gallbladder meridian to the heart meridian. So you can see that all these meridians are sitting in three-dimensional space with a certain geometry between them developed by this icosahedron. Okay, so now the meridians converge to a sphere. 
And all the four meridians, or all the four orders of meridians, converge into a 3D sphere. And I'm going to be showing you the paths that all those four orders will converge into one path. And it's one path that goes around the sphere. It's like this. What you're seeing right now are the four orders being drawn into the spherical path. And this is now one path around the sphere, around the surface of the sphere. The red circles are meridians on the front of the sphere. For example, the heart and the gallbladder and the spleen and the liver and the stomach are on the front of the sphere. The yellow circles are on the back, on the back side, like the lung and the pericardium and the kidney. They're on the back side of the sphere. And these red lines here, they actually go through the center of the sphere, right there. So where they cross right here is the center of the sphere because as you can see, the spleen's on the front, the lung is in the back, the liver's in the front, the pericardium is in the back. So to draw a line between those two, there's a line that goes directly through the center of the sphere. So it helps to kind of get a three-dimensional image of what's going on here. One thing you'll notice is that each meridian has two arrows leading to it and two arrows leading away on the surface of the sphere. Let's take an example, small intestine down here. Two arrows coming in, two arrows going out. Another example is the bladder. Two arrows coming in, two arrows going out. You can look at any meridian on here and that's exactly what you'll see. It's two, two lines coming in and two lines going out. There's more to this that I'll show in, in uh, future videos, but I just want to give you a basic idea of how this spherical pattern is being formed. Now here I'm going to match the sphere to the body. So I'm going to take this body, put it inside the middle of the sphere, and show how the meridians match up to organs. So here the liver and spleen in front of the body, right here, match up to organs. So you'll find that the spleen here is right under the rib cage. The liver here is right around the, under the, the rib cage, right around here. So you see that those match up. So if you put the, the spherical pattern over the body, the organs match up. Now the kidney is in the back of the sphere, and it's on the lower back where the kidneys are in the back. So those match up too. Then you've got the intestines. Down here you have the small intestine, around the small intestines, and over here you have the large intestine in the general vicinity of where this large intestine is, is situated. Now the heart is on the front of the sphere at the face for the personality expression. This is the shen reaching out, like Giovanni Macioccia. Like he says, the shen is the act of reaching out. And so this is the heart expressing through the face. This is how we contact and talk and see and listen and smell. And it's just sort of our, the center of our senses and the center of our expression. So we've got the heart there. And then the lung is on the back side of the sphere as the lungs are behind the heart organ. And up here, the bladder matches up to the wake-up point between the eyebrows where the bladder meridian is activated each morning. So when we wake up in the morning, as we open our eyes, this bladder meridian activates between the eyebrows, or at the tip of the eyebrows, and we wake up. So this bladder meridian point of the sphere is situated in that same spot. So the sphere has reflections in the anatomy of the body. And that's pretty much all I wanted to show in this video, and uh, there will be more videos for you to reflect upon. Okay, thank you for watching.